Hey guys, what's up? This is Rai123. Um, and today I'm going to be doing some Roblox scripting tutorial, or not scripting, Roblox Studio tutorials. So I'm going to teach you how to basically just make your own place and make some tickets or Robux if you're a builder. What are those things? Builder club yeah um so today or for this tutorial the first one we're just going to go over the different menus and toolbars in the sorry i'm cracking my knuckles in the um program so let's just start from the left and work our way over um let's get a smaller window i'm still trying to work this camera um so first we have the toolbox this is where you can see all of your models or decals that's how you say it right or some roblox stuff that they've already made for you like if you wanted a house you can get a um okay i guess those are only parts but if you wanted let's say uh just your basic brick you can just go into bricks get some grass colored brick maybe think my thing just froze great um hang on i'll be back in a sec oh there we go <laughs> sorry about that um oh look it gave me two so yeah you can use that to insert a brick or you can use the basic objects um <clears throat> panel thing this is more where you have more in-depth things like if you wanted to insert an explosion or basically stuff for scripting or just like a base part just a normal gray part or like a truss those things uh, let's make the window a little bigger like that and then down here we have the output and as you can see I already kinda mess with the command bar a little bit to show you the output it just basically tells you any script errors or if you print anything it will tell you what was printed we will get into how to print and how to debug your scripts later uh, yeah as you can see I've already done this once before I just had a little problem with the video um i think i spelled liking wrong oh nope okay whatever um and then as you can see if you have an error it'll tell you like i didn't put a parenthesis so it says hey you should have a parenthesis near that the end i think that means <laughs> next is the explorer this is kind of like windows explorer where you can like see your different um file not files like uh, models and parts and stuff so if i click on this truss it'll highlight this truss in my work environment and also along with that comes its properties now there's different sets of properties so you have like its appearance like its color and stuff it, some data that you use when you're scripting Oh, sorry guys, I'm kind of sick. Um, it's behavior and so on with uh, other things. Um, and then up here to the um toolbar, you just have your basic new, open, save, redo, undo, cut, paste, camera. Here, let me zoom out so I can show you these like. Oh, these are your part things. So if I click on this, you can't see it with that. It rotates it. If I click on this one, it tilts it. If I click on this one, it moves it up. This one moves it down. And we'll get into more in-depth with this later. If you don't have anything like you see me have, like I recommend setting your up like this just so you don't get confused throughout the tutorials. Just go into view and make sure these things are checked like your um your toolbox your 
objects, explorer properties, output window, and then all of your toolbars. And then yours will look like mine. And if you want to do it, however, if you're comfortable or whatever, go ahead. Um, yeah, and we'll get into the rest of these buttons later. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I want to keep them pretty short. Um, and I think I'll probably do the next one in a little bit. Um, and then after that, the distance between them may vary depending on personal life stuff. And so I'll catch you guys in the next.